so mimi nilaenda pale of course tukatoa tuka, tuka hizo sacrifice wase utoa sacrifice eh, eh, hizo ma- personally sikulangi mabibi za watu so we kibe na amerix muache kushusha wanawake bana muanze kutambua wanawake mtulie Hi guys, welcome to part 2. Ni part 2 kwa sababu eh tukifanya hiyo interview tumesikia sikia nja and then Steve akatupeleka na kuambia tumetoka lunch na tumekula seafood. Mi kwanza nimekula prawns. Kimbeni pale IG uh, Doris underscore mutwa muone pictures ya food yenye tumenunua na Steve. Na Steve by the way, if less in a vizuri sana. Si mama Doris, nini nini unaanza kuchoma? Niambie si mimi ni beshte yako, niambie si mama. Hapana. Ama wash wash. Hapana. Ama ulienda kuomba uko shaka hola. Kwa pasta makenzi. Ama ama me join Kakal TV. Juu. Hi. Yani the last time tulifanya interview was like I think 4 weeks ago ama 5 weeks ago and mimi naona everything has changed. Ni Mungu. Hey. Ni God manzi. Ni God kila time, kila yeah. siku la. Yeah. Alafu sijui kama mkuu kiona story yenye imekuwa ikigwa around ya yeah. Pastor Ezekiel. Mm. What can you say about it na Pastor Mackenzie? Mm. Eh, eh, acha niongelele Pastor Mackenzie kwanza. Hiyo <laughs> yake nayo ni noma. Hiyo hiyo yake labda kurogwa. Eh, yeah, but sana sikia wako na connection na Ezekiel which me sijui. Eh, yeah, but hiyo Mackenzie noma. Mimi nda share personal experience yangu na Ezekiel. Ah uh, yeah, Ezekiel Odero. Eh, uh, New Life. Yes. Mimi last year nilikuwa na struggle mentally kiasi. Yeah. Mbaya sana, I was at a bad place. So tukajaribu mambo zote zenye tungejaribu as a family, uh, tukalemewa. So Made akaniambia yo, si tushuke mavueni. Eh, Ukaombe na huu pasi nimekuwa nimkiona online. Of course at first mimi nilikuwa zile za Eh, mimi mambo ya kuombe wana pasi sijui pasi ana juli hapana pamadhi akanibembeleza eh, na shosho au ni watu nasikiza anga sana so mimi nikashuka pale nikaenda hadi mavueni eh, bado nikiwa nimejam mimi mama mstaki mambo but nilikuwa tu nataka help pia mimi ju nilikuwa nashindwa na, na ndatokaje kwa ingori ju mental health nayo inakuwa kwa kitu tricky hadi we mwenye ujuangi nini inakukula so mimi nilaenda pale of course tukatoa tuka, tuka hizo sacrifice wase utoa sacrifice eh yeah, hizo ma hizo mado si kuna oh. yana zitanga sijui zinaitangwa nini si tithe ni sacrifice unapea god sacrifice ya 5k ya 10k ya 12k so i guess si tulitoa 5k cash kwa sei tulikuwa na do pia hiyo time uh, na kulikuwa na wasee most mbaya so Uh, so pia wasio pia walikuwa wametoa hizo 5 hizo 5k 10k whatever. Mimi hadi nilikiwa huko nilikuwa napiga hesabu. Mm. After sasa tumetoa do. Mm. Kwa piga hesabu juu unajua mabasha zimekuwa hapo chini mm. na ni za do mingi mingi na wasio unachikimsi amechukua basha ya 12k. Kuna special bahasha. So mimi nilikuwa napiga hesabu. Nikachomoka tu na basket moja. Yeah? Ni vile tu ni church, ni vile tu ni church. <laughs> Alafu pia kuna security so wezi hapa. Eh, yeah, but my personal experience with Uh, Ezekiel. Mimi na thani maombi yake ilifanya kazi manze kwa life yangu. Jo for that nilienda Ocha. So Ocha pia nikaendelea kuombewa na mapasi wa home na maombi za mam shosho. So mimi sijui story ya Ezekiel na, na connection yake na Mackenzie. Ba mi mi hati yangu mimi vile na feel. Mimi na thani Ezekiel anapiga shughuli safi. Eh ni ile sasa maybe eh, wealth yake imekuwa mingi. Wasio wameanza ku feel. You know Juni mse wasio anampea ngadi mita mse anampatia ofari ya 1 m mse anampea tithi ya ya 2m so i think ni yo but kama wameshikana na makenzi for sure Ezekiel uh, ako kwa hizo deals za makenzi then i'm really disappointed in him jumi nilikuwa naamini ya Ezekiel nilikuwa najua huni mse wa god huni mse anaongea na god god anasikia lakini kama ni ukweli wanafanya deals na makenzi na anafanya vitu chafu ah then i'm very disappointed in him but i'm hoping si kweli so is steve a christian like you are saved uh, mimi sema kuna kuokoka na kuna kukua na a good relationship with god uh, mimi siwezi sema ni miokoka because uh, kuokoka i think inamaanisha you don't sin ufanyangi mambo mbaya mbaya 
okay me I, i believe everyone is a sinner so kwa 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 kidogo labda ile tuliokolewa na Yesu kwa msalaba hiyo hiyo niko part of it but ingine ya kuombewa uokoke hiyo sijaielewa vile inaendanga but then i have a very good relationship with god mimi naamini kila kitu yenye u happen kwa kwa life yangu doris kukuwa hapa saina team yake kufanya hii interview ni mpango tu ya god steve ku trend steve kufika mahali amefika you know everything that i do everything that happens in my life mean i'm meaning it to god so i can say uh, i have a personal relationship a, a good personal relationship with god now maybe 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 ndo maana nimefika mali nimefika alafu by the way steve sijui kama umeona maandamano is now back una feel aje kusu hiyo uh well imekuwa na itakuwa so yes ina to affect sisi wana biashara sisi watu wa chini hustlers as much as it's meant kukutetea sisi ndo tuna suffer most i think hata wewe inakuwa ngumu kwa kwa kumove around nairobi uh, so maandamano really ningeulizwa eh, tutafutea better way ya ku deal na gava and issues ina to face sababu now it's affecting us business people mm. okay So guys uh, since you all know upper stories are 254 our main job is to bring to you stories na pia kukuwa entertain today we have a new segment eh uh, inaitwa my replies so kenye na happen ni uh, our celebrity guests get to um, read your comments kwa sababu nyinyi you guys you're always supporting us commenting nini nini so celebrity guests anasoma comment then and a reply to your comments no na like no in we are bringing you in touch with the celebrity <laughs> so tunaanza the first episode inaanza na Steve the one and only Steve from massage by Steve gifted hands <laughs> so CG and ume, ume fungwa pale youtube yeah, fungwa youtube mm-hmm. tuangalie one two three comments both positive and uh, and negative yes wewe mm-hmm. ndo unachagua the comment unaanza na you can read the name of the person who's commented mm-hmm. and then usome comment so 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 tutaanza na the positive ones nisome mbili positive uh-huh. ama tatu positive alafu ambili na negative tusipatie negative platform sana. Ndio <laughs> sawa. Uh, so ndanza na moja hapo inasema ni ya Vicky Brit. Anasema the problem is a lot of women don't know mili yao and many men don't know where to touch women. Yeah, so <laughs> I think alikuwa ajaribu kusema mm, it's good vile Steve ako kwa industry because now Steve na understand eh miliza za women better anajua eh anajua anajua ile ile kitu ana do eh then ni so mengine eh, masinjao anasema go go Steve uh, your god sent and your hands are truly gifted i have been to you several times and i love what you do yeah so uh, masinjao i think ni client though see you kosho sure, kama kabisa simjui vizuri because i have a lot of clients si zangi ko keep uh, So asante sana uh, Steve and Leku pa Steve and Leku take care of queens and baby girls Cindy Doris Eh uh, alafu hapa kuna Vincent Oyehenya anasema Eh hey bro kazi unapiga ni safi eh uh, sisi tunakuwa appreciate na tunakuombea Mungu aendelee kukubariki na kupanua kazi na kubariki kazi ya mikono yako Yes asante sana Vincent Oyehenya God bless you too Eh uh, sisi tunaendelea kupiga shughuli Mungu aendelee kuto bless uh, so hapa kuna mtu ame ame amekasirika sana <laughs> eh juni litaja kibe ah. eh anasema buda whips utapigwa juu ya kutaja kibe unganyamaza tu hiki northia inajaribu kujipendekeza kwa madem na fujo aje bwana so miu mtu kitu ana so keista uh, amekasirika sana <laughs> eh amejamba sana ananiambia buda Wips utapigwa juu ya kutaja kibe ungenyamaza tu. Hiki nuthi inajaribu kujipendekeza kwa madem na fujo aje bwana. Eh, okay sasa mimi nitamwambia aje. <laughs> Siheri mimi najaribu kujipendekeza kwa madem juu ndo wananipatia dishi. Unajua, madem ndo wananijenga ndo wananilea ndo wananipatia biashara. Alright. Wewe unajipendekeza kwa kibe? Ako majua naishi life yake fiti? Ako Europe. Eh, <laughs> mnasaidia naje na kibe exactly? Huko hapo una kibe kibe uki Unasaidia naje na kibe? <laughs> eh, una, unajipendekeza kwa kibe bro akusaidie na. So heri mimi najipendekeza kwa madem jumii wananilisha. Kibe hata ulalenja haizi kuokolea. Eh. Yeah. So 
eh kitu ndasema niliona wasi wa kibe wa kihit sana eh ma supporters ma die hard wa kibe ni wanaume unashangaa naume mnapenda wanaume mwingine <laughs> nini mani nini ni so <laughs> eh mimi kitu ndasema sichuki kibe mimi napenda kibe napenda content yake napenda confidence yake napenda vile kibe uji express lakini eh na kuangana noma na vile ye uka ni kama ana ana intimidate wanawake unaona ni kama anawashusha hathi ni kama hawatambui unajua mimi nimse inatambua wanawake sana eh wewe ite kujipendekeza ama feminism ama nini mimi natambua wanawake sana so nikisikia mwanaume kibe amerix wanaume wanaongelelea wanawake vibaya mimi uniuma eh juu mimi ni mtoto napenda mama yangu napenda shoo yangu ndo watu wamenilea sana ni wanawake niko na sisters sina brother niko si au ni wanawake baby girls clans wangu ni baby girls na queens au ni wanawake so mimi natambua wanawake sana so we kibe na amerix muache kushusha wanawake bana muanze kutambua wanawake mtulie muache eh pigeni content mimi napenda content yetu ndio mnatoa advice asmen tusikue kafuku sui tusikue makinoth ya sawa lakini pia eh mtambue wanawake eh honorable uh, dashi yang una nani ni mchinese <laughs> anasema eh wacha bwana we know you well bro we kula wao kabisa but remember pia wako watafanywa hivyo 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 na jamaa mwingine Uh, please like uh, seriously so honorable <laughs> ini nairobi kwa nasema unakula stock anasema nakula stock so ini nairobi tunaitanga one big bedroom pa person sharing <laughs> uh, so wewe ukikuliwa wako songa personally sikulangi mabibi za watu sikulangi clients eh uh, lakini uh, nikipata wangu wa kuliwe nitatulia tu ukichezwa tulia eh uh, so ini nairobi na ini kenya so kuna lengo maflani sijui ukigostiwa ghostika eh utulie bana wacha mambo mengi ni kanaero but personally mimi napiga tu hasa leo fit mimi sina haja kula clans i just want to be a professional therapist eh nipige art yangu safi you understand tuwapigie ya mwisho yeah. kevin wakili fitness anasema sasa si hiyo ni humanizing men please sasa an advice men sasa yeye amekuwa <laughs> I'm like advice our men and I say ma'am men please listen to me wanaume msikize Kevin wakili never date a lady or a woman who goes for massage sasa si unakumbuka nikiambia wa Kenya wache ushamba sasa hii ni ushamba reloaded acha hivyo wananiambia ngangu ni sharati reloaded hii sasa ni ushamba reloaded cause why would you advise people not to date people who go for massages kwani mnatafuta pesa mfanya nini na pesa kwani amjipendi mimi kwanza mwanamke wangu nitakuwa namlipia massage sasa si zangu ende huko experience mikono zingine because why not you understand so comments zenu we comments zenu tunaziona tunazisoma tunacheka huko mbaya sana yes we don't care <laughs> as we don't care because eh, tunajituma tunajituma na you you think you better than us because you think your your job boy is better than ours eh wewe uko kwa ofisi unalipwa pesa mzuri sisi tunajituma unafikiria you you better than us Mungu anaweza kutoka kwa hiyo ofisi pia wewe uanze kutuomba tukufunza hii kazi tunafanya hii kazi ulikuwa unafanya unafikiria namba so tulia tulia heshima kazi yangu ni heshima kazi yako otherwise tuko tuko fresh yeah so that, those are just by a few comments hata soma zote pia due your time yeah Okay thank you so much Steve and guys kama mnakumbuka last time pia tukimaliza interview yetu niliwa promise tu mimi nitafanywa massage ndio niwaambie kama anakula stock last time tulifanya massage na stock haikukuliwa so pia this time tutafanya massage and then nitawaambia kama stock inakuliwa yeah. juu mimi ni yule demwenu wa stories at 54 na lazima ni waletea story venye iko so thank you so much guys for supporting us see you on the next one bye